Hey Exoticals, I'm back with another one real quick. I wanted to talk about cringy managers that obsess over you and stare at you and just make you feel uncomfortable in the workplace. So y'all know I work overnights in a warehouse. The reason why I work at a warehouse overnights is because with the recession, times are hard, and I can't just make money doing videography, so I need another I need another source of income. I can't work in customer service because of my social anxiety. I can't do a whole lot of jobs that require working with customers and people. This is not my lane. It's not ideal, but I don't have to interact with people. Our job is set up to where we can work in our own rows and sections. We don't have to deal with other people. And it just it's just a smooth, I, don't, I can listen to my earphones. I listen to Exoticals United while I'm working. I can just be minding my own business. Time goes by fast. So don't judge me. I like the job. It's I don't like what I have to deal with, but I would rather deal with that than to deal with other things. But I digress. Anyway, so this current job I'm working at, there's at least there are at least four or five different managers that are currently working there that I've had some type of encounter with that has been cringy or uncomfortable or just weird or they've asked me out on dates so there's this guy that works in the safety department and this manager he's hispanic i get a lot of hispanic and asian people hitting on me at this particular place he's supposed to be a higher up but he works in safety and this guy is always mind you safety the safety office is all the way in the front of the warehouse but I will always see him in my area looking at me, staring at me. You know how when you catch somebody staring and then when you look at them, they look away? He would do this all the time. Sometimes he wouldn't even look away. He would give me these weird hellos and a very cringy hello. Like Certain people say hello, it's a different vibe. If you catch my drift, he will always try to find something to say to me, even if it wasn't important. Like the other... Like the other day, right? My particular area had the most volume, right? And, I mean, it's not abnormal for us to have a lot of volume. But I just happened to have the most volume out of the whole row. And for some reason, he just felt the need to comment about that. You can tell when somebody's just trying to find a small talk, reason to talk to you. Like, very unnecessary reasons to say something, but they just felt the need to say it anyway. You guys know what I'm talking about if you guys know what I'm talking about. Sure, and I know I wasn't the only one with a lot of volume, but I was the only one he was talking to. Just so pressed to talk to me all the time. It's so, it's so obvious and it's almost, that's why I call this cringy managers because they just make it so obvious. It's obvious. I know one day I was sick and I needed some medicine because he's safety, he provides medicines and stuff. And ever since then, he'll always be like, do you need some medicine? Because I guess he doesn't know what else to say. So the last interaction we had was about medicine. So it's kind of something that he always brings up just to have something to say. And he's always trying to make small talk, asking me what I'm doing this weekend, asking me personal questions that I feel like a higher up shouldn't be asking his subordinate. And when I got my hair done the other day, he was complimenting my hair and everything. Just really cringy things that I feel like managers shouldn't do that I will catch him doing. Just the weird, long gaze and stares. The awkward stares every time I walk past his desk. So uncomfortable. And I have another manager. He's an Asian guy. He is always eager to see me and speak and say hello. But I never see him saying hello as eager with other people. Like today, for example, I noticed he would occasionally walk back and forth past my row a couple of times throughout the day and every time he's every time he goes by he speaks and says hi like we just spoke to each other we just said hi it's almost like he's obsessed with saying hi to me so I gotta make sure that I'm not tripping that he's doing that with other people and he's not he's not doing that with other people like he's obnoxious Consciously saying hello every single time he passes by you don't have to say hi every single time like if you just spoke to somebody you don't I'm not even exaggerating y'all 
let's say somebody let's say you see somebody for the first time today and then you see him again you don't have to keep saying hi to them every time you walk past but this guy this manager does that to me he doesn't do it with anybody else because i'll be observing him and it makes me feel so on the spot and uncomfortable every time it gets very uncomfortable when people do that he's not the only one who does that there's another co-worker that i work with that does this every day he always shouts my name out so everybody can hear when he sees me and I, it puts me on the spot and i don't like it i notice other girls would give weird looks whenever he would do that he doesn't do that with anybody else and i be paying attention just to make sure i'm not losing my mind and going crazy and they don't do it with other people at all there's this other manager he's a white guy he's at the very top of the food chain every time i walk past him he gives me this creepy stare smile a creepy smiley stare he follows me around the warehouse very cringy because he's old enough to be my dad he kind of favored if my dad was a white guy like he would be my dad because of his whole demeanor and everything the way he dresses the way he talks and everything so it's extremely cringy i feel like this manager gives me special treatment i'll notice he'll be in the middle of doing something and he'll see me struggling and he'll go out his way to help me and it wouldn't even be an issue if he would do that with other people who are struggling right around him but it's with me i feel like it's special attention on me unnecessary attention i don't need help as much as people think I do, but for some reason they feel eager to help anyway. It was getting awkward. And he was just like, okay, so keep get, getting to work and to continue to do your work and you're doing a great job. He will always do that. He will always overly tell me I'm doing a good job. Like, do you do that with other people? And there's this other manager, he's a black dude, older guy, could be my, my dad for real as well. And he give me a, he gives me creepy vibes. He gives me a creepy look. He almost gives um the sense that he wants to be inappropriate, but is trying not to. The way he looks at me is just so it makes me want to turn away because it's so uncomfortable and cringy. Um, uh, every time I see him or walk past him, I get uncomfortable. But I know they're gonna be looking at me when I walk by, and I don't like that. It's so uncomfortable. And these are my more recent events, y'all. I'm gonna go back a few years when I was working at this temp agency. When I fresh got out the military, I needed a job. So this temp job was hiring almost in, like almost right away. Uh, you can start literally the next day. It's the type of job where you where we make where we make sandwiches for 7-Eleven. So you know how 7-Eleven has the cold cuts, the cold cut sandwiches and all the fruits and stuff that's the type of job that's the job where we made those at this was like in 2016 I think. 2017 so it was my first day on the job and i was getting a tour of the building and everything where everything is and then they introduced me to my new manager uh, he looked like a skinny version of ll cool j we'll name him ll cool j for this story time so i think it, i get introduced to ll cool j and he's showing me some more of the ropes of how things work around here introducing me to the team yeah he says we need to go and make my badge so i can get in and out of the building and i'm like okay cool so he goes to take me to the office which is upstairs just me and him up to the office he starts getting my paperwork ready and then like He's supposed to be, like, getting all my paperwork ready for my badge and everything. But then he starts talking to me about his personal life and all the relationship drama that's going on with him and his girlfriend. Or his soon-to-be ex or whatever. So he was going on a rant about that to me. And I'm like, he's supposed to be my manager and I'm a new person. Like, well, how do you even feel comfortable just talking to me so comfortably, but... I feel like a lot of people are just so comfortable talking to me about personal things like that. But he was just talking to me about all the personal stuff going on in his life instead of us making my badge and training me. I'm supposed to be watching a training video too. So as I'm working with this particular team, 
manager. You know, it's pretty cool on the floor, or whatever. And I noticed this manager would always find a reason to talk to me as well. Always letting me know I'm doing a good job, but not letting everybody else know. And then like, I don't know, he just gave me different vibes than he gave other people. And then one day he asked me for my phone number. I didn't know, like, I was just like, I was just shocked. I was just kind of, I was shocked. I was like, what? But not surprised. And when I was in the military, I stayed, had sergeants and staff sergeants hitting on me. I had a one sergeant who was pressed on me so bad, and he was married and everything. A lot of them be married, they don't care. I get a lot of married guys trying to hit on me. I have cre creepy coworkers in general. This one coworker I had would stalk me in the warehouse when I first got hired there. An older guy, at least 60s or 70s in age, an ambiguous black man would always follow me around in the warehouse when I first got hired. It was so cringy and creepy. He could have been my grandfather. He would follow me around, asking me, do I need help all the time? Every 10 minutes, he would ask me, am I okay? Did I need help? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. And one day I had to go on him because like, when we're done with our areas, we move on to break. And when he would be done earlier than me, he would come all the way. He could have been on the other side of the warehouse, but come, will come all the way to where I'm at just so we can go sit together at lunch. It was so cringy. I was like, no, I'm, I'm okay, I'm gonna go to my car. No, thank you. He even bought me a gift, y'all. I had only been on a job maybe a month, and he bought me a gift. He bought me a present. It was just the weirdest thing. He was already stalking me and everything. He was always trying to come see me, fingering around in my area, trying to sit with me at lunch. But then he takes it up a notch. He buys me a gift. And I'm just like, really? A 60 year old, at least 60 years old. He can barely walk, but he be limping around the building looking like a crazy person. He's so pressed, it's crazy. It's cringy. It's always old people too. And then I know after work, he will always ask me to wait for him when we're done with shift so we can walk together. I have a lot of male coworkers that would do this. Just stalk me in the, the warehouse. The warehouse is huge, but I will see some of the same faces multiple times throughout the day. I'll be just minding my business and hear somebody come messing with me, bothering me, asking me about something unnecessary. I know where it comes from. This is mostly, it's mostly all males. So I'm hoping this YouTube channel jumps off so I can quit this male environment job, become a full-time entrepreneur because it gets crazy and it gets wild and it gets overwhelming. The grass ain't greener on the other side. These um, male-centered women just don't understand what comes with pretty privilege. The downsides, the grass is not greener. But I know what some of the haters going to say. If you come into work dressing up a certain way, what you expect is going to happen. First of all, first of all, it's not like I'm exposing anything. I'm just wearing, I just have on some cute workout clothes, my hair nice and done, my nails done. You know, I don't even have a full face of makeup. I just have a, some foundation, some lip gloss. I wear some clip-in extensions. You know, I just like to keep myself up and done. I'm not going overboard with boobs or anything, showing boobs or tight fitting clothes. I just have a cute, I'm a pretty girl. I'm a pretty attractive girl and I attract male attention. I've been this way my whole life since I was a child. And it's to the point where it causes chaos wherever I go. It's chaos wherever I go, especially if it's male dominated. It's gonna cause chaos. I get complimented every day about something. Even some of the females that aren't haters, and it's usually a non-black woman, will always compliment on my hair. Cause every now and then I'll switch it up to curly from straight. I just do different styles. And they will always be like, oh, I noticed you changed your hair today. It's interesting, cause I don't be noticing when other people change their hair. But every, a lot of people notice when I do. 
or they'll notice um I'll switch up my style like they'll like my shirt it was something it's always something people would notice about me but it's like I don't be paying attention to people that much so that's how I know there's something different about me that stands out and I've been validated all my life about how I look I'm reminded every day it's something I can't really get away from so so, I can't, so nobody can't really take away my experiences what I've gone through can't nobody tell me I'm not attractive because I get it every day nobody on the internet ain't gonna tell me nothing I'm just here sharing my experiences if other people can relate then we can have a conversation and try to you know just work on healing we're just talking over here about our experiences we don't need no haters over here if you can't relate to the content this channel ain't for you obviously so just click off and go find a channel that's for you leave us be because we trying to work on stuff over here we've been dealing with haters our whole life we don't need it over here i just want to get on here and talk about the cringiness that manages give pretty girls on the job I know I'm the only one. I know I'm not. Especially when you're pretty in a male-dominated field, you're gonna draw attention. You're gonna draw hate in females. It's just like high school for adults where I work at. And I'm the pretty girl. They say more money, more problems. Well, I wonder what more pretty means. Just saying. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all have any stories like this? Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you for listening.